Uh, Yuli Tamir uh, is president of Shankar College of Engineering and Design and adjunct professor at the Blav Blavatnik School of Government at the University of Oxford. Uh, she's a founder of the Israeli peace uh, movement. Uh, she's a former Labour Party member of the, of the Knesset and uh, formerly served as Israel's Minister of Education and Minister of Immigration, Immigration Absorption. Uh, in the last year, she published uh, a book uh, called Why Nationalism? And uh, in Italy was published by Bocconi Editore, uh, Le Ragioni del Nazionalismo. Uh, Professor Tamir, could you introduce us uh, the reasons you wrote this book? I wrote this book because um, I realized that uh, we are now witnessing a, a re-emergence of uh, different types of nationalism all around the world. And many people used to think that nationalism is over. When I read Fukuyama, The End of History, I thought to myself, well, he's wrong. Religion, uh, ethnicity, nationalism, they're gonna stay with us forever, maybe in different forms, but they are part of the way we think about ourselves, uh, about our world, about our society. Um, so I wanted to revisit the question of nationalism. I've been writing on nationalism for many, many years and ask myself whether this turn of nationalism is similar to the previous one or maybe it's rather different. So it's really my ongoing interest in nationalism and my feeling that it was overlooked by many scholars, something that led us to misunderstand um, societies, modern societies and modern states. Do you think there is a strong correlation between nationalism and human nature intended as the necessity of our people to live in a community? Yes, I think this is the very basic uh, reason why nationalism keeps coming back, because people need to live in a community. Now, you know, we are in a corona era. We need, uh, you know, we need people around us and we feel now because the enforced distancing, social distancing, we feel how difficult it is for us um, not to be part of um, social life. Loneliness becomes a huge issue. So people want to live in a community. Community allows us to interact with other people. It gives us meaning. It gives us uh, social support. It gives us comfort. So yes, we want to be part of a community. The real question is whether this community should be a national one because there are many, many kinds of communities. And uh, in your opinion, uh, a committed nationalism uh, would be the best instrument uh, to adjust the social contract and avoid ex extremism, uh, such as xenophobic nationalism or a brutal nationalism, neoliberalism? Yes, I think that uh, our ability as a modern society to create solidarity, to take care of each other, uh, to contribute resources to the well-being of other members of the society is uh, closely dependent on our ability to see ourselves as, as one community. And again, I think the corona gives us a, a good uh, opportunity to look into the social structure. We are ready to give quite a lot and we are giving quite a lot to keep our community healthy. People think now more in communal terms than they did before the corona. Uh, when there is a crisis, we need each other to survive. And this is something that nationalism allows us to do. And in this way, it's a very positive force. Obviously, it has its ugly faces like any other political theory. But I think we, we shouldn't be disregarding the positive side of nationalism, the one that allows us as a society, as a community, as a state, to come closer together and to support each other and to look forward to a future that we structure together. Um, in your book, in fact, you allied different ways of approaching nationalism. But do you think is there any opportunity in a future to arrive to an Euro European version of nationalism? An option, there is always an option. You know, you never say never. I think James Bond told us that and we should follow his uh, wise advice. But um, we see uh, now, you know, when, uh, when 
states approach the, the European Union to build a support system, that wasn't so easy. I mean, the question of whether the European community sees itself as one unit, yes. How close it is? Less close than the nation. And each nation closed its own border. Uh, when you were talking about support systems, nations took their own interest into account before the interest of the union. So we're halfway through, and I don't think we reached the point that the European Union really established itself as one nation. It is a union of nations, and in this respect, it's very useful and welcome, but it's not a replacement to the preliminary uh, political unit, which still is the nation state. Okay, thank you for your time. Uh, Professor Yuli Tamir is the author of uh, Why Nationalism in Italian, uh, Le Ragioni del Nazionalismo, uh, published by Bocconi Editore. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much.